Replacing my bullet mirrors with Anvil Auto carbon fiber mirrors. Assembly required. Today's Lethal Garage video is sponsored by none other than Lethal Garage. Check out our custom flex fuel kits using OEM parts direct from GM. Check it out at lethalgarage.com. What's going on guys? Met over here with Lethal Garage. Welcome back to another 1971 Camaro restoration video. Today, we got the 71. It's going in for interior finally. It's happening. So I take it up on Tuesday next week. It's going to have full interior. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. But before we have them button up all the interior, there's a few things I have to finish, such as getting the proper outside mirrors on. Now, I started off life buying the OER. I think these were OER replacement housings and all that greatness. And had them painted black, nice gloss black. These are nice, but I broke one of the pieces of glass and that's not good. So, and then I disassembled it and I knew I wanted to go the carbon fiber, but Anvil Auto was out of stock originally and then they came back in stock. So I ordered a set and today I got to build it. Now, this product does require assembling. It's not because Anvil is being lazy and doesn't want to sell you a complete product. It's because he wants you to be able to build it to your car. Now, we all know most of the door panels are going to be mostly the same, but some waiver bodywork changes everything like that so you can legit sand the parts and pieces to fit your vehicle and then assemble and get it all together so it's perfect for your car i sanded a few of these pieces down to get as close as i could i'm not getting freaking what is it uh what is it concourse quality restoration here i would just want it to look good so today we're scuffing up the parts, we're gonna epoxy them all together, bolt in the bolts, and then we have to hog out the holes in the doors because I have the factory original bolts going in there now. And Matt provides a little bit bigger, stronger bolts. So this is the bracket that's gonna get epoxied into the new setup, but we have to drill out the holes so these bolts are gonna fit in there. And I'm not gonna do, so the way he has it set up is you can mount it right to the car this will sit just inside the edge of the mirror itself, but I'm gonna use the actual plastic piece just so I get anything off the paint and it's just plastic sitting there. So you don't necessarily have to do this, but I'm using the plastic parts that came with my OER ones. They fit perfect, so you can kind of see how that will sit on there. It's all wrong way. Sorry, camera freaking out. Here we go. So you can kind of see how that will sit on there. Once it's bolted on, it'll sit nice and flush. It's kind of bowing out on that side, but it's gonna look nice. And then I'll have the plastic flat edge up against the body of the paint because we body worked my car to this plastic piece. So it will all work out. I will have to hog these out, but these do come in multiple pieces. So you get the outer ring, which you can choose what you want. So, which is also cool. So you can customize the setup how you want it. I chose the chrome face with the gloss carbon fiber shell and then obviously the mirror and all that stuff assemble within so uh, the quality of the carbon fiber is really nice this is a pure carbon fiber piece you can see the assembly on the inside it's it's nice it's light and it'll look clean so the goal today is sand it all up so my dad's here and he brought some nice p150 we're roughing up the inside edges of the mirror we'll rough up the inside edge of the bezel and we're gonna epoxy that in place. Once that's set on both of those, we'll assemble the mirror and everything, get this all assembled, and then we'll epoxy the mounting bracket in place and make sure we got the angle and everything good on the car and go from there and mount them up. So hopefully by the end of this video, we have sexy side mirrors on a 1971 Camaro. Let's do it. Ready? Ready. <laughs> so we went with the JB Weld Clear Weld. It's the quick setting epoxy, five minutes for set, one hour for dry. So works really good. You basically break off the end and put this little tab on and it mixes it. Um, seems to work pretty good. So we set that to the side and now we got both chrome bezels in place and we're using the tape to apply the pressure just to get a nice tight fit against the thing. I'm basically rotating these every 
you know, 20, 30 seconds, just in case the epoxy is running. It is a little, I don't want to say watery, but it's not super thick. And, uh, you know, just to keep it from dripping out or whatever. So we're going to let this set probably longer than five minutes just to make sure it sets properly. And then we can move to the next step of the assembly so we can get the mirrors and everything inside, bolt it all up. This is going to be the hardest part, just the assembly part here, because you got to get this lined up with the mirror. Um, but all that being stated, we'll get that all bolted up and then we can start working on getting this piece uh, mounted. And if you're wondering why I'm doing a quick version of this install and not a detailed version, Matt over at Anvil Auto on his Instagram page, and I think their YouTube page has a pretty amazing guide where he goes through the sanding step and basically walks you through why he designed it the way he did so it can fit your vehicle the way it should check it out i'll put a link down below to wherever i can find it because i remember watching it through and i'm like okay this makes complete sense why he did it this way and i'll post it there so if you want a more exact way you could check out his video i'm just doing a quick dirty way on how we're doing it and just getting it on the car so i can show you what this beautiful product looks like on the car you know i should have put two and two together early on so for those of you who watched the early on videos my passenger door didn't have screw holes for side mirror and so we had to add those and me not even thinking about the difference in how these install versus how uh, the factory ones installed the back of the door panel on my passenger side is solid was solid <laughs> so a little bit of a mess, had to bust out the Dremel, had to pull the window out. But we now have a hole to access when mounting the mirror so we can get the nut and the lock washer in place. That was kind of a nightmare. Unfortunately, or fortunately, it allowed me to realize the front window, the guide, had fallen out of the track. And that window was really loose and sitting really awkward and we didn't know why. Now I know why. I can't believe I didn't notice that before. So it, it kind of a, you know, what, what do you call that? Like green lining, sheep gold under the wool. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what they call that, but we found a problem, fixed a problem. Now we got to reassemble. Uh, if your passenger door doesn't have an opening for you to reach behind to get the nuts on, you're going to have to do the exact same thing. I just used a carbon wheel on a Dremel and just cut two straight lines and then two angle lines on the side and worked out perfect. Now I have clear access. I use some black uh, spray paint. Um, basically it's called chassis black to coat the steel so we don't get rust issues in the future, but we should be good now. Now I'm sweating. I put way more work in today than I thought I would. And uh, yeah, you know, it's a project. It's a project, right dad? Good job. <laughs> Dads are great for moral support, <laughs> unless you're holding the flashlight. We are at the assembly stage, so we just got the bottom base, the mirror, and everything assembled here. So that's assembled. We untaped our ring, which looks really nice. Nice fitment across. The tape did its job holding it in. We'll have to buff and polish this when we're all done. Got some fingerprints and a little bit of glue. That seeped out, but that's okay. We can buff that out with a good compound. But now we have to epoxy in the, the bracket that is going to mount to your car. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I'm using the plastic pieces that came with my factory uh, bullet mounts. So I like this idea better than the carbon fiber being squished up with the metal piece against my paint. So we're gonna go this route. I'm at the hog these holes out a bit because these bolts are just a hair longer or a hair fatter. They just, they won't fit, so it's fine. But we gotta scuff up this metal. We're gonna scuff up this inside edge. So the epoxy has something to really bite into and grab onto. And then uh, we get to try to mount on the car. Now, the biggest thing here is getting orientation so that way your mirror isn't cockeyed or you have it at too much of an angle to where it's gonna run into your glass so you're gonna have to do it's really hard to do fitment because you can't make this stay in there 
I don't know of a good way. Like if you had clay or something, you can probably make it work and that way you can hold it in the right position. But we're just, I'm holding it up, getting this in place. I found that like just pressure that's in there now. So this is actually the driver's side. Please don't fall out and scratch my paint. It's totally gonna fall out and scratch my paint watch. So, you can kind of see, well, I don't have the plastic piece, but you can kind of see you want to mess with your angle. And actually, that's staying in there pretty good. So, that's going to clear the glass just like that. So, on how I think it needs to mount in there. And you can kind of see, I got it to stick and stay, so I have, I know exactly the angle that it should be sitting at, the angle of the dangle. So, we're going to go ahead epoxy that up let that set epoxy this one at the same time we only got five minutes basically before the epoxy starts setting it up so the original tube i used done couldn't even couldn't use it so i got a second tube actually it's right here so this stuff is actually pretty dry now and uh i don't think i'll be squeezing any yeah no that is solid as a rock so we'll uh open another one and get it done unfortunately i didn't didn't really use that much. You can't... Well, I guess I used a lot more than I thought. You can kind of see where they're at, but... One tube is more than enough to get the initial step. And then I think a second tube is going to be more than enough to get that step. So it's only like four bucks. It's not too expensive, but... Do it how you will. This is how we're doing it. This was nerve-wracking. So the metal pieces are sitting on there nice. We got them in position. So we put epoxy on the inside first, set the metal piece in, and then I went over it again with epoxy just to make sure we have a really good bond between both pieces. I don't see any daylight. There's epoxy in between like all the way around. So you can kind of see it, especially if you're in good light. I got a light right above us, so we could really see it, but it's a nice, nice grab the biggest this is the most important epoxy piece because if you don't epoxy this on right the wind's going to rip your mirror off so once it sets up even i may even go through and just fill in some of these they're not gap i guess the bottom of the metal and the carbon fiber are touching so i got a nice bond there but i just almost want to fill in where it's like not touching because there is like it widens out a little bit so I'll probably go through, do one more coat around in about five minutes once it really starts setting up and I think these will be good. I'm gonna let these sit the rest of today and overnight into tomorrow and I won't mount these in the car. So this video will be a two day video session but it's all gonna be in one shot. So we'll come back. When we come back, we're, we'll show you how it all dried up, peel off the plastic and mount them to the vehicle. Uh, the other side was we did remember how we had to cut out this side. Well, I bored out these holes bigger and touched them up with uh, chassis black so we don't have any rust issues coming in the future. Uh, but outside of that, the car is ready for the mirrors to be mounted. Might have to leave my race car outside tonight. Hmm. Thanks for your help today, Dad. No problem. Enjoyed it. At the end of the day, I'm not the biggest fan of having to assemble my side mirrors. I mean, keep in mind, I had to assemble the stock bullet mirrors regardless, but this one was a little bit different. I had to epoxy parts and pieces in place. So if that's not for you or that's too much for you to take on, especially, you know, paired with the price of this product, totally understand, totally get it. But for me, I felt like it was worth it. Um, it was a little bit more work than I wanted to do, especially when I found out the passenger side had to be cut out because it's an aftermarket door, unfortunately. So I don't know if all the stock doors are cut out or if it's just the aftermarket passenger side for the 7073s. I don't know. If you guys know the answer to that, post down below in the description for others, but that's where we're at. But we're gonna jump to tomorrow, check out how all of the epoxy cured up and hopefully install them on the car and see what it looks like on the car, said and done, especially paired with those handle door handles that match. So I have the Anvil Auto door handles and the carbon fiber with the chrome trim underneath. And I think that looks really clean. My rear view mirrors the same way. The uh, headlights, 
we got the carbon fiber bezel with the chrome well stainless screws so it just looks really clean I, I just it's kind of the theme that I'm carrying through the whole car especially even the radiator cover carbon fiber with the stainless screws like it just you know it's all cohesive I think so that's where we're at let's jump to tomorrow couldn't sleep couldn't sleep had to get it done they set up for seven hours, solid as a rock, and uh, got this side installed. Now, I'm gonna highlight a few things for you. It sits really nice with that black plastic base. So you can see kind of how that looks. Sorry, it's dark in here. But it looks super clean. Got a nice gap between the window. It's a two finger gap. And the hard part, let me get this cranked in for you. So the hard part is getting in this opening. I ended up using my snap-on quarter inch with three eighths to tighten it up, but my wife came out and got the, the nut started for me because my giant paws could not fit in, like I could not get them started for the life of me. I, I tried for like 45 minutes. I'm like, babe, I need your dainty little tiny fingers so uh, if you have small kids who can help you or a wife if you look at my little opening it is not large whatsoever the one the one bolts there or the nut or the bolt coming through lines up just at the corner on both sides of this it should be easier on that side because I cut the holes and I have more room on both sides and I think I can actually fit my ratchet in there from the get-go to tighten it up but Dude, this thing looks, this thing looks killer. I think it looks really good. So, and as mentioned, my car goes in for interior and the glass put in uh, next week. It's probably gonna be a couple weeks up over there, but um, let's get this other side in. I'll roll up the doors and tomorrow we'll check it out in the sun. How about that? Well, here we go. Got the mirrors on. Looking really nice. Sorry, it's morning time. I didn't shoot this video before we got the car on the trailer because we're headed to take her up for the interior. I'll show you the driver's side. I had a heck of a time getting that window back in, but story for another day. But I think these turned out great. I like the look of them. Obviously, as I pointed out earlier, they go with the door handles, being the carbon fiber with the chrome trim, carbon fiber, chrome trim, and then the front of the car, carbon fiber, chrome, and then the stainless screws. I think it's, it's just a good look. I like it. So if you guys are interested in these, they are a little bit pricey. They're on anvilauto.com. I'll put a link down below in the description, but thanks for checking out the video. Until next time, guys, see you on the road.